What's up, everybody? On this episode of Something New here in the Teak Light Basement Bar, from our friends at Glass Vodka, we are trying something that is brand new on the market. Yep, another ready to drink product, but not just anyone. You gotta tune in to learn more about this. It's gonna blow your mind, promise. Hey everybody, I'm D Ferg and welcome back to another episode of Something New in the Teak Life Basement Bar where we are trying, where we always try something unusual from around the world, new, whatever like that, but this, I don't think you can get any newer than this. This is so new that a lot of people haven't seen it or heard about it or even tried it. And I think as far as Michigan goes, I'm one of the first, yep. Once again, I'm one of the first. So let's get into it. Our friends at Glass Vodka that makes this premium vodka in a premium decanter has come out with another product. So jumping in the ready to consume or the ready to drink, we're just going to say RTD, not R2D2. Yeah, whatever. You geeks knew what I was talking about. But we are doing a ready to consume, ready to drink product, and they're extremely hot. If you watch my White Claw, we're not going to talk about it, but watch it. But I know almost 3,000 of you have watched that. So, this is just a hot market to be in right now, but Glass Vodka coming out with their Glass Vodka Soda is doing something completely different. So, this is a premium vodka with a pure sparkling water and all natural flavorings. I'm not even gonna repeat that, you can just rewind it. But this is absolutely amazing. So, I have been looking forward to this, but as you can see, there are four cans. And so, we're gonna switch it up. I'm not gonna do all four, I'm going to do two. And the two that I'm gonna do are glass vodka soda, that is just the unflavored one. I'm going to put that right there. Drum roll. I know you're anxious. It's like a Hitchcock movie. Which one am I going to choose? The suspense. Well, the suspense is going to be ruby red grapefruit because I do love a Paloma, so I want to see what this is going to taste like and maybe compare it to a Paloma or I might even be able to make a Paloma with it. I don't know. So let's just put these bad boys. We're going to put lemon and mandarin orange, Meyer lemon, sorry, excuse me, and mandarin orange. We're going to put them to the side for now, but glass vodka soda, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero sweeteners, so none of that artificial shit that we know, you know who you are that's using that stuff, low calorie, so let's see, here, this whole can is 184 calories, and it's gluten-free. So, I have some very, very special glasses that I'm going to be using for this tasting, but specifically, you know, if you're doing glass vodka, who, you know, the, the, the founder, Ian McNeil, loves glass art, why would I not have some glass art glasses? I, th these are beautiful. Look at this. So that way we can do a refined tasting of glass vodka soda. So I'm really going to knock your socks off right now. Yeah, this isn't that 5% ABV. This puppy is 10% ABV. So comparing it to some of the other ones out on the market, this is an extreme, this is a higher alcohol content than what is actually out there. So we're gonna fill it up to the brim. Now this is the unflavored one. So this is, you know, no flavors are added. It is just basically a sparkling water and vodka. But let me be the judge of that. We're gonna nose it. And it's crazy because I can actually pick up, I can pick up the vodka right away. You can smell it, and it's it's not 
you know, potent, so it doesn't have that isopropyl alcohol that a lot of vodkas has. It's very clean. Um, I mean, they make their they they make their vodka out of grapes. You can watch that episode and learn more about them. Wow. This tastes exactly like a vodka soda in a can. And you're not getting in anything from the can. And there's there's a lot of um there's a lot of articles out there right now about using cans and how much better it might be. I'm not going to get into that debate right now cuz I drink. This is a vodka soda. So a vodka soda is a very popular drink. I have a ton of friends that still drink vodka soda. We're not going to name any brands, but this is very smooth. It is absolutely, I mean, you throw a couple of ice cubes in here, it will dilute it, of course, but this has been chilling all day. It's just a really good vodka soda. All right, now on to the ruby red grapefruit. And here, kids at home, well, kids probably shouldn't be watching this, but it, it is a carbonated, don't shake it. Just don't shake it like it's hot, you know, anything like that, because when you open it, you're going to get sprayed in the face. And you probably don't want to get sprayed in the face. But maybe some people like it. I don't know. So let's do, this is, this is going to be fun because we get to nose it. And what you, if you watch the show, you know nosing it is the aroma. So let's, let's go in and be very judgmental. It smells like a real grapefruit. No lie. Now, I know doing some research that they use oils that are extra extracted from California-grown grapefruits. So, another natural piece. But it does. It's, it's very faint. It's not overpowering. So, you don't get any of that syrupy, artificial flavorings that a lot of products use. Oh, that's refreshing. That is, so, with the nose, that is very light, but you still get that aroma. So is the taste. So it's not overpowering. It's very mellow. It, it's like, um, what, what's the popular one? LaCroix? It's, it's, I don't even think it's as tart or as um, prevalent as LaCroix's grapefruit. This is just really balanced and well done. Um, I think if I made a Paloma and I topped it off with this, it'd be ridiculous because I'd have, you know, a cocktail that has a couple ounces of tequila and then you top it with a sparkling beverage like glass vodka soda and their ruby red grape. I'm, like, you're getting more, you're getting liquor on liquor? Come on. I don't know. This is something I'm going to do. We already know. Oh, I think it's time for a refill. But this, I mean, it's not, honestly, this is fantastic. This is going to, in my opinion of what I've tasted, and there's, a been, a, there's been a few out there that I've tasted, this is going to blow away the competition because it is clean, it's refined, it has great flavors to it, and it's 10% ABV. So, with the hard seltzers that are on the market, a lot of them, many of them, use, you know, a malt liquor um, or a cold distilled sugar. So, with this, you're getting clean, pure, and real. So, we have two others. We're, I think I'm going to do these individually on the Teak Life IGTV channel do like five minute videos of each one something like that but for now these two the unflavored and the ruby red grapefruit pop it up over here 100% teak life approved glass vodka soda glass vodka I mean what you guys are doing out there in Seattle just fantastic so can't wait to try these on the Instagram the teak life IGTV channel very soon so make sure to subscribe to the teak life youtube channel if you haven't liked us on facebook do that if there's something that you think needs to be on this platform you own a company just reach out to us you can do 
all of that stuff by going to the website, which we're going to flash right now, and use the contact page and say, Hey, D. Ferg, I want to get my brand in the Teak Life basement bar. And who knows? I might even use one of these glasses for a good scotch or a whiskey. Who knows? But anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, do all that stuff, and we'll see you next time. Who knows what we'll be trying? I don't. Well, I kind of do. See you soon.